Yo. So you can actually preset the width and the height of the canvas area so that whenever you open up Synfig, it will default to whatever you set. To do so, first go to Edit, Preferences, then click Document and type the width and the height. This is independent of you changing the canvas size while you work. So note the width and the height is currently 720 by 480. If I go to Canvas, then Properties, we see that the settings are the same. The width is 720 and the height is 480. Now if I go back to Edit, then Preferences, and change the width to let's say 1920 and the height to 1080 and click OK then go back to canvas properties we see that it hasn't altered the current canvas size but if I close the program then reopen it and go back to canvas then properties we see that the settings have been changed. So if you want Synfig to always open with a predefined setting for the canvas, you can do so in the preferences. So that should save you some time if you like working with a particular width and a height, and also other values as well. Another tip I would like to share is an alternative way to perform transformations of an object in the scene. So if I should have a circle, just for example, And I'll place this in a group so that we get access to all the control points. Now usually if you want to scale for example you would click and drag the scale control point or if you want to move you would click and drag the move control point and the same for the other control points. But another way to do this is by clicking the control point once and using the arrow keys on the keyboard. So as I press the arrow key for the direction I want to go we see the object move. If I want to scale, click this control point and press the down arrow key to make it smaller or the up arrow key to make it bigger. We can also hold down shift while pressing an arrow key to move it in larger increments. And this works for all the control points. So you, you don't necessarily have to click and drag the points. You can use the arrow keys. And that's it for this video. Yo, Marty.